Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about anastrozole. What is this drug anastrozole? This drug is an aromatase inhibitor. Here we can identify some structural information from the suffix of the drug. Here we can find the suffix trozole which indicates it is having trizole ring system. So anastrozole is a trizole containing aromatase inhibitor. And we have few of the drugs which are having imidazole as well as trizole ring systems. They are classified as azole antifungals. But here anastrozole is not an azole antifungal because azole antifungals can be differentiated from these aromatase inhibitors with a little difference in their suffix. Azole antifungals like ketoconazole, clotrimazole, all these drugs are ending with the suffix azole. But here anastrozole is having the letter O instead of the A. So it is ozole. We have another drug within this category, letrozole, which is having the same suffix, trozole, which indicates it is having the trizole ring system. So both anastrozole as well as letrozole are non-steroidal aromatase inhibitors. They are not having the steroidal structure but they are having the trizole ring system and they inhibit one of the enzyme aromatase which converts adrenal hormones into estrogens. So today in this video we are going to discuss about this anastrozole, how this drug acts, what are the important precautions, drug interactions, contraindications, adverse reactions and clinical use of this drug we will discuss in this video. So how this drug anastrozole is clinically useful? As a first line agent, this drug can be used in the treatment of hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer. So in those patients where the breast cancer is going to spread and in the metastatic stage where the estrogen receptors are intact and they show positive response, in such conditions anastrozole can be used to treat this hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer. Even this drug can be used in the breast cancer which is locally advanced and as a second line agent this drug can also be used in the other patients who are hormone receptor negative patients as an alternative for tamoxifen. Tamoxifen is an estrogen receptor antagonist which can be used to treat breast cancer when the patient is not responding to tamoxifen, then anastrozole can be used as a second line agent. Similarly, this drug can also be used as an adjuvant in hormone receptor positive early breast cancer. So normally the breast cancer is treated by estrogen receptor modulators like tamoxifen, but anastrozole can also be used particularly in postmenopausal women. This drug is not effective in the premenopausal women. This drug is useful in postmenopausal women only. Now let us the chemical nature of this anastrozole. So this is the structure of anastrozole. And here we can observe one of the heterocyclic ring system. So this ring is having three nitrogens with five member ring system. So it is nothing but trizole ring system, which is reflected in the name of the drug as trozole. Now let us give the IUPAC name for this anastrozole. Here the principal functional group is the cyano group. So let us start the numbering here. 1, 2, 3. So simply it's a propane nitrile with second portion methyl group and second portion phenyl group. So we can write this as 2 methyl propane nitrile with second portion phenyl ring system. This phenyl ring system is further attached with other chains. So let us give the numbering to this phenyl ring from the point of attachment. So this is 1 and this is 3 and this is 5. So at the third portion another propane nitrile chain is present. We can write this as 3 dash 2 cyanopropane 2 aisle. Similarly at the fifth portion trizole ring system is attached through methyl group and let us give the numbering to this trizole ring system. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So nitrogens are present at first, second and fourth portions. So this ring is nothing but 1, 2, 4 trizole. So we can write this side chain as 5 dash 1, 2, 4 trizole 1 aisle methyl because it is attached by first portion to the methyl chain. So that is the complete name of anastrozole. 
and here we can observe that it is non-steroidal nature. So, anastrozole is a non-steroidal aromatase inhibitor. Now, let us see how this drug acts. Anastrozole is going to inhibit the synthesis of estrogens, but it is not having significant activity on synthesis of glucocorticoids as well as aldosterone. So, the primary effect of this drug is on the synthesis of estrogens in the postmenopausal women. This anastrozole is going to inhibit extra adrenal synthesis of hormones. So, what are the estrogens which are synthesized from the adrenal hormones is going to be blocked by this anastrozole. That's why this drug is useful in postmenopausal women where the extra adrenal synthesis of estrogens is more pronounced. But this drug is ineffective in the premenopausal women in whom blocking of this pathway leads to no significant activity on estrogen levels. That's why anastrozole is useful in postmenopausal women. Extra adrenal sense of estrogens can be observed in the peripheral tissues like the breast tissue and ovarian follicles as well as in the brain. Two important adrenal hormones involved in this extra adrenal synthesis are androstenedione as well as testosterone. This androstenedione is going to be converted into estrone, whereas testosterone is going to be converted into estradiol. Both of these reactions are mediated by same enzyme, aromatase enzyme. So, this is the structure of androstenedione and here we can observe that no ring is aromatic in nature, but the first ring is having one double bond with a conjugated ketone group. Now, this keto group can be converted to enol group. And here the groups are going to be removed to produce a, an extra double bond such that this androstene dione is going to be converted into a structure like this. This is nothing but estrone. Now we can observe estrone is having the three double bonds within the same ring which brings the aromaticity to the structure. So estrone is a hormone having the aromatic ring and this reaction is mediated by the enzyme aromatase enzyme. So, here anastrozole can block this aromatase enzyme, thereby it can inhibit the sense of estrone from androstenedione. Similarly, this is a structure of testosterone. Again, in the testosterone, keto group is coming to enol group and an extra double bond is going to be introduced at this position such that it is going to be converted into estradiol. Again, the same enzyme is involved aromatase which is going to be blocked by anastrozole. And here in the estradiol, two OH groups are present, so it is having the suffix diol. So here one of the OH group is obtained through the ketoenol tautomerism, but another OH group is already present in the testosterone. So in the androstene dione, it is having the ketone group, but in the testosterone, it is having the OH group at the 17th position. So androstene dione gives estrone, but testosterone gives estradiol. In this way, estrogens are going to be synthesized from the adrenal hormones which is blocked by anastrozole and when the estrogen levels are reduced, it reduces the metastatic breast cancer as well as advancements in the breast cancer. Now, let us see the precautions of anastrozole. This drug anastrozole can affect the bones, particularly the bone mineral density is going to be reduced by anastrozole because estrogens are required to preserve the bone density. When the estrogens are reduced in the postmenopausal women, the bone mineral density is further reduced, which may increase the risk of fractures in the postmenopausal women. Particularly, bone strength in the lumbar spine as well as total hip bone are going to be affected. And this effect of anastrozole is mainly due to its effect on estrogens such as estradiol. When these estradiol levels are reduced, the bone mineral density is also reduced. This effect can be observed on long treatment of anastrozole. Generally, this drug can be given up to 5 years of the treatment. In such patients, the risk of fractures are further increased because of long term treatment. And if the patient is already having osteopenia with reduced bone mineral density, in such conditions, risk of fractures are further increased by use of anastrozole. Similarly, this drug can also increase the risk of ischemic heart disease as this drug can precipitate some chest pain in the patients leading to angina and it can also increase the risk of myocardial infarction and it can increase the blood pressure leading to hypertension. 
All this may further increase the ischemic heart disease. So if already patient is having any cardiovascular disorders, in such patients, anastrozole can further increase the ischemic heart disease. Similarly, this drug can slightly increase the cholesterol levels, which may further increase the risk of ischemic heart disease. What are the drug interactions? One of the drug interactions is observed between tamoxifen as well as anastrozole. Both of these drugs can be used for the same purpose. These drugs are indicated in hormone receptor positive breast cancer. But one of the difference between the tamoxifen and anastrozole is in the category of the patient. Tamoxifen can be used in the both pre as well as post menopausal women. Whereas anastrozole is effective only in post menopausal women. Now, what is the interaction between this tamoxifen as well as anastrozole? This tamoxifen can inhibit the levels of anastrozole. So, when this combination is given, the 27% reduction of anastrozole levels can be observed, which reduce the efficacy of anastrozole. And pharmacologically, this combination is not beneficial. So, tamoxifen is never combined with anastrozole. Similarly, another drug interaction is observed between anastrozole and estrogen preparations. We have already seen that anastrozole inhibit the estrogen synthesis. So when the estrogen preparations are given along with anastrozole, they can inhibit the action of anastrozole, thereby reduce the efficacy of this drug. So estrogen preparation should not be combined with anastrozole. What are the contraindications? One of the important contraindications is the pregnant woman. This anastrozole is teratogenic in nature. So when it is given to the pregnant woman, it can produce some fetal damage. So in pregnant woman, this drug is going to be contraindicated. Similarly, in the premenopausal woman, again, this drug is contraindicated because in such patients, this drug is ineffective. And finally, in the patients who develop hypersensitivity towards this anastrozole, in those patients, again, this drug is contraindicated. This drug can produce, we have the hypersensitive reactions such as anaphylaxis, skin rashes, some angioedema and urticaria. If any of these symptoms are observed, which are serious as well as fatal to the patients, in such conditions, again, this drug is contraindicated. What are the side effects? The important side effects are hot flashes because this drug is going to inhibit the estrogen levels and asthenia, lack of energy, arthritis, inflammation to the joints, arthralgia, joint pains, pharyngitis and skin rashes, nausea and vomiting, hypertension, elevation of blood pressure can be observed, osteoporosis as well as risk of fracture can be observed because of reduced bone mineral density and back pain can be observed in the patients. Other side effects like insomnia, dyspnea, difficulty in breathing as well as peripheral edema can also be observed in the patients. Rarely, this drug can produce some serious hypersensitive reactions. Some skin lesions, blistering of the skin, skin ulceration, angioedema leading to swelling of lips, throat, tongue as well as face, difficulty in breathing as well as difficulty in swallowing, some jaundice as well as liver enlargement can be observed in the patients. All these are the serious hypersensitive reactions that can be observed rarely in the patients. Whenever these hypersensitive reactions are observed, then the use of this drug should be stopped. How it is given? This drug is available as a tablet at a strength of 1 mg. The dose of the drug is again 1 mg once daily. Treatment of breast cancer with anastrozole is a long term treatment and sometimes the treatment may be extended up to 5 years. So that's about this anastrozole. Anastrozole is a non-steroidal aromatase inhibitor. We can observe the suffix trozole which indicates it is having the trizole ring system and this drug is going to inhibit extra adrenal sense of estrogens from the adrenal hormones like androstenedione as well as testosterone two important estrogens are synthesized from androstenedione estrone is synthesized and from testosterone estradiol is synthesized both of these reactions are mediated by the same enzyme aromatase enzyme this enzyme is going to be blocked by anastrozole thereby it inhibits the estrogen synthesis in the postmenopausal women. That's why this drug is useful in the treatment of hormone receptor positive metastatic breast cancer. 
Similarly, this drug is also useful as an adjuvant in the early stage of breast cancer who are responsive towards the hormone receptors. This drug can reduce the bone mineral density, thereby it can increase the risk of fractures and it can also increase the ischemic heart disease as well as increase the serum cholesterol levels. And hypersensitivity is one of the important side effects that can be observed this drug. In such conditions, this drug is contraindicated. This drug is also teratogenic, so contraindicated in the pregnant woman and it is not useful in the premenopausal woman. And this drug should not be combined with the tamoxifen as this combination leads to decreased levels of anastrozole, reducing its efficacy. And this drug is available as a tablet form at a strength of 1 mg. The dose is 1 mg once daily given for a long term treatment and the treatment may be extended up to 5 years in the patients. So that's about this drug anastrozol hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video